welcome back guys today we're talking about one of my top five favorite films of ever it comes from the class of 1999 and it is paul thomas anderson's masterpiece magnolia it's uh, written directed by pt anderson whom we all know from boogie nights previously in his film heart eight before that this is his third feature by far probably one of his best um probably one of his most personal as well and one of his longest. Uh, I was a, didn't get a chance to see this until it was released on um, video for for rental. Uh, for some reason, I never got around to see it in, in theater. Uh, it came out Christmas Day, 1999. I've been a huge fan of it ever since. This is a weird instance of a movie where I actually bought the uh, screenplay and read it before the film came out, but the film still was rather quite moving. Uh, what's great about this copy is this is actually a See how it says, for your consideration, this is a Academy Awards screener copy. Or at least uh, a screener copy they'd send to critics, at least. But I think, I think since it says, for your consideration, that it is, in fact, a copy they send to people who are members of the Academy. So this is a two-tape set. Since the movie's so freaking long, I can't get the tapes out. Uh, what's great about this set, though, is it is actually... It's actually widescreen. Actually, I think it's widescreen, if I recall. So now my memory's kind of hazy. It's so either this was widescreen, or the first time I rented it, the two tape copy, it was pan and scan. But during the really important 235 to 1 aspect ratio scenes, you'd, go, the, you'd actually watch the screen go from, that, from pan and scan out to 235 to 1. It's kind of interesting. But I can't, I'm not going to talk about how much I love this movie. I just do, in fact, love this movie. Uh, I've liked a lot of P.T. Anderson's other films since, but this is still one that I just really, really dig because of its bravery and just how crazy it is. Another one from New Line Cinemas. Luckily, I was able to actually run this film on 35mm back sometime, I think, in 2014. I ran it the same week. I actually ran Boogie Nights on 35 millimeters. It was just kind of a weird coincidence. We had both those movies booked within a week of each other. Uh, I actually ran it twice. I did an employee screening for four people I worked with, kind of as a test run, and then I did a regular screening for the public. So that was, I think this thing is 10 reels long, three hours, 15 minutes. That's a lot of time spent in the booth projecting. Uh, did you guys have a chance to see this in theater when it came out in 99? Have you seen it subsequently? Did you see it digitally? Did you see it on film? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Later.